Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Well, that fog is slowly rolling in this morning here as we take a look at the Highmark West Virginia Sky Camp in downtown Parkersburg. This is going to be the first issue we deal with for the second half of the week. Number two will arrive later this afternoon, but heading out the door this morning, it's still going to be a bit damp. Roads are still on the wet side and it was also quite mild out there. Temperature seen around 56 degrees, but the fog continues to roll in. We're going to be stuck with this throughout parts of our morning commute. So if you have any plans on heading out this morning right now, probably a good idea to leave a little bit extra early and make sure you're leaving a bit of space between you and the car in front of you. But besides that, right now, no rain, but that is going to be returning eventually, mainly later this morning and into the early afternoon as this cold front starts to pass by. And this is going to be the low that's going to be strengthening today. This is going to be what's going to bring in that snow for us for our Thursday. So let's break it down for you as we get through the second half of the week. Pinpoint yellow alert days in place today and for your Thursday. Our focus for today is going to be the windy weather. We could even see some wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. But as we take a look ahead, it's really going to be brief. So winds, they'll start to pick up a bit later this morning and into the early afternoon, but you can start to see those stronger gusts. That's going to be along that cold front that moves through. So by around three o'clock, this is when we'll pick up those gusts to around 40, even some isolated spots up to 45 miles per hour. So we could see some very isolated power outages, but this is going to move by fast. By the time we get into the evening commute, we'll still see some gusts up to around 25 miles per hour, but nothing as strong as that cold front as it continues to move off towards the east. We'll continue to see windy weather for your Thursday, but at most we'll just see gusts up around 25 to 30 miles per hour. Now let's talk about that snow that's going to be moving in for today. It's going to be warm, so our activity is just going to be scattered showers once again ahead of that cold front. So we'll see some scattered showers late this morning into the early afternoon. But in fact, we actually see clearing overnight tonight as dry air slots into this system. But then comes around more moisture. We'll see snow showers pushing through tomorrow morning and now continue to stay on the scattered side throughout the day. Be mindful road surfaces are going to be warm throughout the day since temperatures today climb into the low 60s, but bridges you'll have to be mindful of slick conditions there. Now as we move into Friday morning, we'll continue to see more snow showers, but by this time Friday afternoon, it's more going to be rain mixing in than it is going to be snow. So our updated snowfall forecast going through Thursday and Friday afternoon at most up to around an inch of snow, some higher amounts towards the east, but the best chance for more snow is going to be into the higher elevations. For us, it's just going to be mainly on our grassy surfaces. So today, showers moving in later this morning into the early afternoon as winds pick up this afternoon. Be mindful of that and into tonight that cold there moves in. We'll see some partial clearing and temperatures into the 30s, but our snow showers will be here tomorrow. We we'll continue to see scattered snow showers with some rain mixing in throughout your Thursday and some quieter weather finally starts to make a return by the time we get into your Saturday and Sunday. It is going to be taking some time to warm up. We'll look at low 50s arriving by Sunday. But then into Monday, upper 50s will then go away again with those mid 40s by Tuesday. And we will actually also this week have Dave Fleming back in for Guardian with Dave. If you have any questions for him, feel free to email us at guardianingwithdave at WTAP.com or send us a message over Facebook and can also call us anytime at 304-424. 5112 and you can also do this anytime throughout the year doesn't just have to be this week LV